Welcome back, Kane's family, to another film review. We about to get this weekend started off right. He, he highlighting all, all these kids from out, out of state, you know, coming in, blue chippers, this, this, that. We get a solid, uh, you know, commitment from out of St. Thomas Aquinas from Ryan Mack, safety, a three-star at St. Thomas. Uh, he played a lot of corners, so he's really good at coverage. Uh, so we'll, we'll just get straight into it. There's a lot of his tapes at corner. Um, here he is. Branch out. That's where he's on. on. Strapping that down. This is like a cover two looks, two high safeties. They're trying to hit this corner. Looked like a good idea. And he sinks underneath the throw. Just going to be training, you know, to save people uh, view him as a safety at the next level. Um, but most safeties have to go play man in that slot. So I think it's invaluable. Uh, or you know, I guess that's the right way to say it. invaluable uh, how uh, much snaps he's got in that cornerback, how that's going to help him. He's a little bit more on the slender side, around 165, 170 pounds. Uh, so he's able to get this ball on INT, get it upfield. Uh, I'm actually really excited about uh, his man coverage. Uh, you know, whether we have him in the nickel or, you know, we just have him off, man, like whatever the case may be, this is going to be him uh, backside. They have trips here to the field side. They're going to try to get a goal line slant. Great positioning on the outside shoulder, undercuts it, batted down. I mean, this guy can cover. He can cover. He can cover. Uh, you know, if he had more weight, he'll probably be higher ranked. Uh, but you know how that goes. This is a good take, Kane's family. Obviously, he's a legacy as well. Shout out to, you know, Rod Mack, the OG. Um, big time in the community down here. I'm sure that, uh, a lot of kids are going to be happy that he's going to Miami. Here he is again at corner, uh, Kane's family on the outside. He's going to be trailing because he has safety help over the top. So it's not his responsibility. Um, this ball, long throw. It's a little bit underthrown here due to some late pressure. Um, but just love how he's sinking in, sinking in, sinking in, sinking in behind. We saw that his safety, you know, wasn't it wasn't getting over fast enough. So he starts to pick it up and then he just starts tracking the ball at that point. Uh, so love the ball skills. A lot of times, you know, you're going to be as that safety. You're just going to be sitting there looking at the quarterback, uh, you know, trying to go get that football. So it's nice to see that he has it on, on tape. A little bit of underthrown of a ball there. But I think the ball skills from playing cornerback are going to translate over when he's over the top. And he could just start snapping on stuff. I think some a lot of people agree instincts is probably one of his best traits. Uh, we'll continue to see that throughout his tape. Um, but playing cornerback uh, is going to help a lot. Kings family, you got to be uh, super intrigued uh, with his coverage ability. I'm pretty sure you know that that's his calling card. Slant. This is hard to cover. Great feet. Great positioning. And then jumps in there and rips it out. I mean, the coverage skills is there. Uh, he doesn't have a lot, a lot of Scott size, so you know people might point towards that as maybe why he's not so highly ranked. Um, but he's going against uh, you know the best of the best at St. Thomas, and he's just strapping him up. I mean, this guy's known to cover people, uh, so that that just is what it is. You see the size here, but he's able to tackle in space. Um, so toughness and physicality is not an issue. Obviously, he'll bulk up uh, in a weight program at Miami, but you can't teach this. Look at these feet. Inside, inside, doesn't give up his leverage. Once this wrist receiver turns, his eyes for that slant is dead. Is dead. Just natural cover for instincts. This is a guy who can get sticky. All right, Kings family. So this is the state title game. Trips here to the field side. He's over here at corner. Looks like there's going to be a blow blown coverage. Uh, you see this little speed out. Uh, this guy jumps in, so this slant's wide open. Quarterback's. off from the outside he's this is his job this is his job he's supposed to take anything outside you see him here and then as soon as his speed outs coming he's going to jump on it you see him jump, coming down and then as soon as this ball is thrown the ball skills just run over there and uh go ahead and uh with this ball being thrown bad it gives enough time to go make this play um just a recognition uh so obviously somebody messed up here uh somebody's supposed to get this guy going in whether it was anybody uh who knows um, but able to just go there and make a play. This is keeping seven points off or six points off, I should say, in a state of title game. I mean, this is just what it is. He has two by two set here. He has cover two. So the, the weakness is that pocket right here between the corner and the safety or the middle. 
They're going to try to attack that pocket. See how he puts hands on him, doesn't just let him run straight up to his safety, gives enough time. And then here he goes, sink, 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 sink. Got to pick that, though. Got to pick that, though. Sink, sink, sink. Quarterback's throwing on the run. You sat right into the – you sunk right into the window. Got to come in with this. Great instincts. All right, Kings family. So we're actually going to see him over the top. If you're wondering why it's not as much over the top, and he's ranked rated safety. Remember, Conrad Hussey went to Florida State. Mac went to uh, you know to Penn State, so he was behind two Power Five uh, defensive backs at safety. So he went to corner and then put the Power Five corner on the bench. So here he is at safety. You're going to get this running back screen. Love to see him tackling space. Doesn't have that frame that you would love for a big hitter, um, but just has the willingness to tackle. So we're going to take him off with just pure coverage ability and upside. I think uh, this is a guy, if you fill out his frame and you leave him at, back there as center fielder, I mean, you're going to get a lot of interceptions. This is a guy who has great ball skills. He can move. He can cover. Uh, he can go man-to-man. -man. I think that's that's really what's, what we really need. We need defensive backs that can play man-to-man, -man, especially in this new system we're going to be having. A lot of pressure, stand-up edge rushers, guys coming from everywhere, and you guys who can cover, and guys who can cover really well. So loving this. Like to see him make tackles like that. Like to see him do a lot of these things that he's doing. Uh, big senior year. I think he's going to have a big jump. I think just having a, a whole season on tape at safety, uh, he's going to make a lot of plays. The, the buzz around him in South Florida is up there. So I'm super excited we locked him in. Get this class going. It's going to wrap it up. Go Canes.